Planigram Automation. Hi, and welcome to another how-to video on Dot Active Free. This video covers the basics of Planigram Automation. Understanding Planigram Automation. Adding, removing, and maintaining packing criteria. How to add and remove market, product, fact filters. Adding user-selected settings to a Planigram. Planigram automation is a feature that populates, updates, groups, and sorts data according to specifics given. This feature allows the user to auto-generate a planogram with products specified and criteria set out by the user. It can then be carefully and easily adjusted at a later stage according to preference. Start by preparing and importing data into a planogram. With the planogram open, on the shelf plan ribbon, under the tools tab, we have the function generate planogram. Once clicked on, a new window will pop up where we input all our specifics. Under the criteria selection tab, when clicking on the dropdown, we will find a list of fields that we can pack by. For example, if you would want to pack your planogram according to category, select that field from the list and click add. Furthermore, you can add a secondary pack. In this case, we will use subcategory. Once selected, click on Add again. If you would like to add a third pack, you can do so by selecting another field on the list. I will be using Brand for this example. Once selected, click on Add again. Fields can be removed by unticking the checkbox to the left of the brand. In this section, we can add filters to the planogram that will exclude specific data. For this example, we will be excluding data from the fact dimension, i.e., don't give me anything with a sales at cell smaller or equal to 0.00. So with that specific filter, we'll give everything with a sale value larger than zero. Under the settings tab, there is a checkbox, replace shelves. This function allows you to replace all the current set shelves with standard ones that .active creates. Unticking the box will keep all the shelves you created. Maximum Y facings allows you to specify the amount of products packed on top of each other. For example, you would not pack two deodorants on top of each other, so you would set the maximum Y facings to one. With Tin Foods, you have the option of packing more than one of each product on top of each other, so you could set the Y facing to two. Beneath that is the Space Allocation Summary tick box which will give you a breakdown of all the information about how space is allocated for each field. This summary will display after the automation process is complete. Weightings allow you to specify how you would like to apportion the space. In other words, would you like your main packing focus to be sales, units, or cost of sales? Let's say you would like to focus spacing on sales. Increase the value in the sales field. But if you would rather focus on high unit movement, increase the value in the units field. Next, we will click on OK to finish the planogram automation setup. At the very top, you will find Target Space Allocation Report, which provides a breakdown of all the data as mentioned. When going down the fields from category and subcategory, you can see what percentage of space .active has allocated to each product. From here on, you can begin editing the planogram exactly to your specifications and other merchandising principles. Shelves can be moved and facings added and removed. Something to note, planogram automation takes note of all products in the product report, not only the items on the floating shelf. If you have products that you do not want to include on the planogram, delete the lines from within the product report. Thanks for watching and happy space planning.